everybody, it's Trina from Old House Chronicles here with my fourth video. I promised you a video of some acorn ornaments. So what you're gonna wanna do right now is go to your local park or if you have an oak tree in your backyard, you're gonna wanna take all those acorns off the ground and join me for this craft. So go. Now's the time to go pick the acorns because the snow will be falling soon. After you pick your acorns from the park or from your backyard, all you gotta do is put a parchment paper on a cookie tray and then you pour the acorns and caps onto the cookie tray. Whenever you're working with acorns in a craft, you'll need to make sure that you preserve them before working with them. This ensures that there's no pests inside. Um, there's often little pests called weevils that you may or may not see, but if you're gonna use them, I highly suggest preserving them. Place the cookie sheet in the oven for two hours at 250 degrees. It's a good idea to set a timer. Time to get crafting! Start picking and choosing which acorns and which caps you'd like to work with. If a cap and an acorn are still stuck together, just snap it apart. They snap apart very easily after baking. I'm going to go ahead and use red for my first acorn cap. I usually just put my paint on directly on my cutting board. This cutting board is just for my art, so afterwards I just wash it and it's good to go. I think I'll start with this cap. Just grab some red paint. There we go. And just keep applying it all over. It's so easy. You could choose to use any color you want. These are like winter hats. So if you're doing a Christmas theme, you could do a green, white, red. Pretty much anything goes. You could even do a multicolor or add a couple of stripes or designs. My next winter hat, I'm going to paint white. So just go ahead and paint your caps any color you'd like. Acrylic paints dry fairly quickly. I would say about 15 to 20 minutes and they will be ready to work with. You'll notice that the burr acorn caps are a little bit harder to paint just because they're a little bit furrier. So you actually have to dab more and get into those little cracks and crannies. So I'm almost done painting this one. If your acorn cap is from a burr acorn, Make sure you paint all the furry parts of the acorn, but don't rub too hard because the furry parts will rub off. Let your acorn caps dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Now we 
gonna go ahead and drill some holes into the caps from the inside out. Be very careful with your fingers and use a small bit. And there we go. For this next step, you'll need some wire. Jewelry wire will do. I have some wire in my collection that's used for earrings, so I'm just gonna use that. I'm just going to snip my wire and then you'll want to take your pliers and twist the end to make a little loop. This little loop will prevent it from going right through the acorn cap. It'll act as a blocker and add security to your wire. So go ahead and feed the wire from the inside out and the loop should block it from going through. Hold the wire, clip it to the right size and then you'll want to make another loop. Just bend it to the side, bend it all the way until you can make a full loop. This one is being stubborn. Your goal is to have a loop on the inside and a loop on the outside. This prevents it from going through and also the loop on the outside is going to be used for hanging your ornament. So I'm just going to repeat this step with all of the caps that I have. Let's find the perfect match for this cap. This one seems to fit nicely. So grab that crazy glue. You may want to wear gloves while using the crazy glue because it, if you do get it on your fingers, it will stick to everything. So just be very careful. Hmm, which one will I use for this one? This one seems to fit nice. Make sure to press really hard for a couple minutes. Then when they're all glued and ready to paint, you can lay them all out on your work area and get your paints ready. First, let's pour some white. And we'll need this rosy red. If you don't have a rosy red, you can use a any pink color. So go ahead and dot on two eyes. And we need a mouth.
Now we're going to paint some rosy cheeks on them. You'll need to mix white and rosy red or pink together to make a soft pink. Here I'm adding a nose in the soft pink color. Then I'll just go in and paint two circles and just try to get them as even as you can on both sides so they look symmetrical. These cheeks are looking amazing. Now just repeat the faces for each one in your own style. Okay, now I'm using a black permanent marker just to create some pupils. Now repeat. These look really cute. Now we have to make them into hanging ornaments. I'm using a black hemp um, cord, but you can use anything you want. These are looking so cute. I can't wait for Christmas. I just tie it in a double knot and that should be sufficient. I'll just go ahead and finish this off and we'll be done. Well, I think these turned out so cute. I'm going to pack some up for a gift and hang some on my tree. I think this one might be my favorite. Just look at his cheeks. I made this one last week. I actually found the, the acorn cap exactly how you're seeing it. It came naturally that way. Except for the crystal, that is. I added a little crystal on the bun, and I think it looks cute. Time to make some gifts. I picked up these cute little boxes at our local dollar store. picked up some paper shredding so I'm gonna stuff these boxes and then lay the ornaments inside I think 
her new owner will just adore her. So, what do you think? I hope you comment below and let me know any feedback that you have or questions. I think I'm going to do another one. Just keep working this paper shredding until it stays inside. And here's the final result. I think they turned out so cute. Who wouldn't like to receive this as a gift, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Press on subscribe.